those types of things are all think it, do it, and want to be it. But if you don't take the time to see it, you can't do it, and you'll never be it. Why is that? Why is it you can't do it or why is it Western religion? You know, why is why is that the case? So you went to the bathroom, he shared a lot, but he did he shared about think it, do it. Think it, do it. And so I know most people that's what they hear. And so, think it, do it, want to be it, causes a lot of frustration and anger because you feel like you're doing something that's going to change your life. But you left out a key ingredient to life restoration. And so, you know, we've been... We've used this analogy quite a bit lately, but again, it's back to the baking the cake and doing all of the things in which it takes to bake the cake. We are programmed to be aware of certain things and so again, we can think that we are doing something that is really good, but because we're not doing it in the way in which it was written to do, we end up with frustration, relapse, aggravation, anger, destruction, that see it is a huge, it is it. See it is it. It's all it. But see it is what's different. So why? Why is see it different? Why is that the must? And I know you know, I don't want you to answer. I want these guys to answer. See, I want you to know the why, otherwise you will not do it. Let's keep doing the same old thing, same old story, same old story, same old story. I don't know, man. I, you know, turned my life over to Jesus and got baptized and for the 767th time and went and nailed my sins to the cross and So let me pose a question. If the pursuit is the destination, if the approach is the destination, how does that relate to sin? I mean, let's think about it, guys. Let's think about it. If the pursuit is the destination, if the approach is the destination, and then we look back at this thing, sink it, think it, see it, do it, be it. How does it, how does that relate?
Something that's getting me caught up is how can you see yourself doing something you haven't done? So that would be the question I would pose. So we can think of how can you see yourself do something that is new that you haven't had the experience yet, the body hasn't had the experience yet. How can you see it? That's why I went with the religion like when you feel like you no visual. But there is, but you know the traits and in regards to this, we're we're looking at change, so what are we changing? Our beh our behaviors, our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our character flaws and our character traits. That, this is it. This is why it's such a hard thing to accept, to comprehend, to consume. It's because of our logical brain wants to get in the way of us experiencing infinite possibilities. You want to take Dr. Joe and put him over here in this box, and then you want to take this information, put it in this box, this information, put it in this box, when all the information is running congruently. Matter of fact, it's much like the accurate arrangement of all things. It intersects based on your current position in life. When you are in position, when you are in order, So the logic, that's logic. How can I see something that the body has never experienced? Sounds very logical. So if your goal is to be sober, how could you see sobriety? when the, your body has never experienced it. And you might have to get a little creative. You might have to become aware of what's around you, who's around you. You might have to see it as someone else's life just with your head on it for a little bit. But the logic, the brain, is what shuts you down there. Because you don't have to have experienced it to be able to see it. Is that not true? Can we not? Uh, let's do a little. Let's do a little exercise. You want to do a little exercise? Yeah. Okay. Everyone, close your eyes. <clears throat> Breathe. Through your nose, out of your mouth. A couple of times, deep through your nose, out of your mouth. So I want you to just follow my story. I want you to think about the story. I want you to think about the things in which I'm saying, all the while breathing through your nose, relaxing yourself focusing on my voice. So we all went on vacation. We went there in 2018. This vacation, we had planned for it for quite a while. We had really worked hard prior to going on vacation. So we were ready for vacation. We knew what vacation was gonna feel like. We had all picked this destination. And, uh, flew on the same flight. It was a long flight because this destination was far away. But 
we were excited about the vacation. And we were excited about the destination. We had planned and worked for a long time to be able to go on this vacation. When we arrived at the airport of the destination, there was just something different. Something was different with the air. It felt different. It smelled different. It was kind of sweet. There was a different frequency to everything. Everything seemed brighter and greener. It's like one of those outdoor airports and one of those island shows you see. Different sounds, different textures. Everything was deep and rich and it just felt lighter. So we jumped in the cab and It was hard to pay attention. It was about 30 minute drive to the hotel and everyone just wanted to continue to look at the beautiful green mountains. Just uh, water, the blue, and the, up against the cliffs of the, of the mountains and the road that just weaved in between both of them. got to the hotel. Everyone went to their room and the rooms were nice. But we just couldn't wait to get out and lay on the beach and experience this crystal clear blue water. And the smell of flowers or coconut or something sweet in the air. And as we sat in the chairs and the sun came down on our skin, we knew it was worth it. All the hard work and planning it took to take this vacation. Open your eyes. Did you see it? Did you see it? Crazy enough, I was trying to make myself see it. But I have never been there. I've never been in this place, so I automatically knew, like, I was telling myself, yeah, I was like, when are we gonna stop? I mean, I get the point. But I was still trying to picture it, like Hawaii or something. And, so I don't know, that was just crazy for me. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Did you see it? Yes. Okay. Does your body have to experience something for you to be able to see it? No. So now let's break this thing down, authentic communication. Who do we communicate with? In what order? Ourselves. Creation, creator, and others. Okay. And so, for us to communicate authentically, what do we have to do? Authentic with ourselves. Communicate authentically to ourselves first. Right. And so we can think it, but see, now we're going to communicate with ourselves. We're going to see it. And the reason why logical people don't want to do this part of the exercise is because it doesn't make sense, seems like a waste of time. I don't want to put myself there. I'm not willing to surrender. Control is what this is about so that I can experience it and see it.
it's a mandatory part of this. You will never be it if you do not see it. Period, exclamation point. Asterisk, asterisk, exclamation point. Batman. Whoa. You have to force yourself to communicate with yourself about what you're thinking. That takes time. And you're placing yourself in an uncomfortable position because your body's never experienced it. And that's okay. Because if you do it enough, over and over and over and over again, it won't be so hard. Before long, you won't just be communi communicating to yourself like this, you'll communicate to your maker like this. They call this uh, religious terminology, would be praying in completion. Other communities might call it a principle of attraction. Same thing. That's why Tony Robbins says you can't just sit there and go, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. And then you look up in the mirror and you say, your body says, bullshit, you're not happy. Because just thinking it alone is not enough. You have to take the extra time to see it. Okay, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Great. What does it look like for me to be happy? How would I live my life if I was happy? How would I respond to the ones I love the most if I was always happy? You just continue to go, what would that look like? What would that feel like? You don't have to know where you're at when you're feeling happy. You don't have to know what restaurant you're at or what island you're at or what resort you stayed at. You don't have to know. to be able to go through this process. Now I imagine if you spend enough time doing this, you would probably in the do it area, spend some time to look at this vacation that you wanna take and see what kind of hotels they got on these different islands. And before you know it, you're actually seeing yourself sleeping in the bed at the Marriott on the Hawaiian Island with your this and your that and you know it becomes greater than where you first started but you got to be willing to do it because that think it see it and then you have to do it stuff do it usually brings clarity to the see it and those two just work off of each other it's called momentum The more I think about being happy, and the more I do the things that make me happy, or are gonna make me happy, like not drinking, and then I envision what my life would look like if I didn't have to drink, and then I do the stuff that it takes for me to stay sober and build a foundation, and I go back to think it, and I continue to do it. Those two just bring clarity, and clarity brings its momentum. And the be it is inevitable. You don't try to be it. It just is. And so we can sit here and listen to Dr. Joe and, not, and learn these things, but if we do not, if we're not hearing things the way in which we need to hear them, then we're going to miss a whole bunch of stuff. 
which is why I go back and listen to these things over and over and over again and take pages and pages of notes. Here's where we're at today. This is where I went back to on this particular notebook. Well, there's a lot of juice in between. And I'm sure this isn't the first place I wrote it down, but it's the first place I came to. If I could see it, do it, be it. It's whole brain. Think it, do it is the same thing. It's not using all of your brain. Because thinking and do it is a logical thing. It's a physical thing. Physical realm. Like that type of stuff. See it is not. See it's in here somewhere. In the core. And for you to be able to see it, you have to be able to communicate authentically with yourself with this intelligent design that is undeniably connected to our lives and then to others.